What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another full self-driving beta version nine video. Today we're finally doing it during the day. Well, finally, it's the next day. <laughs> it's about 12 hours since my last video. And since it's daytime, you can see much easier. Uh, hopefully the screen looks pretty good and kind of playing with the cameras. Anyway, uh, we're going for a drive. It's about 50 minutes here that we're going, 46 miles. And honestly, a lot of that is highway. So if nothing is different with the highway, I, which I assume it's not, I will probably just cut that because I have plenty of other videos. You can see the performance of this on the highway and it works very well. Uh, but as you can see now, we're in autopilot. We're in full self-driving. Blue steering wheel means that. Uh, the car is doing everything. This means please put a hand on the wheel. So I did that. Um, now, a few things I've learned about Beta 9 since receiving the update last night. So my first drive, you know, there were like no cars because it was three in the morning. And uh, so I didn't, I didn't get everything, but a few things that I saw that we'll see today is now brake lights are displayed on the vehicles on screen, as well as turn signals, which is pretty insane. I've always been pretty skeptical myself of how much the vehicles are actually using turn signals to take decisions into account. Um, Carpathy and, and others at Tesla have said that they're using it. So, you know, of course they, they're probably not lying, uh, but just the behaviors, it, it didn't seem that much like it. Uh, now, another thing that was not in my video last night, I had some, some camera troubles and m my one camera froze. You'll see in the middle of that video, I switched back to the GoPro, that's why, because the other one froze. But anyway, uh, some footage that I didn't capture, I had two deers cross the road, two deer cross the road. And um, so we're gonna make a right turn here. And the car stopped for them. It did a very good job. And then when they were gone, it continued. So here you go, like really, I tried to get the wheel in here. Hopefully you can see that, so very good. Um, and but i noticed they were not on the display whereas on the old visuals everything was a box so deers were boxes and dogs were boxes and people and bikes and everything was a box so i asked elon musk on twitter and he actually responded i've been getting a few more responses lately which is pretty exciting uh, he, he seems to respond to as, as many people as he can doesn't really matter if you you know have a lot of followers or not so that's really nice but he said this display is going to get really better um quickly with with updates and the the idea is to make this the world so like everything should basically be displayed here eventually at some point. So he deer, I mean, no, no reason to ask anything specific. A little, a little fast on this turn. Yeah, that freaked me out. <laughs> uh, so all good. I, the car probably would have handled it, but sometimes the, the gravel's loose. Anyway, um, so he said that this is basically gonna represent the real world. So that was one disengagement. We'll count, we'll, we're gonna count the disengagement. So, um, so that's very cool. Anyway, <laughs> I think it saw that little green thing as a person. Doing this drive, uh, we'll, we'll see how it does. So one disengagement so far, and probably just me being a wimp. So we will, uh, we'll see. Watch till the end of the video, I'll have a chart of disengagements, which means I took over interventions, meaning I had to hit the accelerator or something. Um, and I'm not gonna count reports anymore, but you'll see if I hit this little button here, that's me reporting that, you know, the system did something wrong. Do we have enough potholes here? Um, when you disengage, that gets reported automatically to Tesla, so I'm not gonna report that again. Uh, anyway, I think that's all. If you enjoy these videos, please hit like and get subscribed. I would really appreciate that. Let me know what scenarios you wanna see. Um, overall, my impression from my first drive, and so far has been that this is definitely better, as you could see in that last clip. Again, I think that was personal preference, but as you can see in that last clip, it's definitely not done. There's still work to be done or else it'd be out to everybody. But. I mean, I'm, I'm incredibly confident on end of the year, this is gonna be wide rollout, which is huge. I think it probably can be sooner than that, unless people find something too crazy. I think all they really need to do is put confirmations. You know, for left and right turns, you just click this before it goes. I think that would kind of solve all the problems, but uh, we'll see. So this, this left turn is in extremely difficult. Um, we have a stop sign and cross traffic's going 50 or 60 miles an hour. So cannot see. It is creeping forward to check for visibility, which is exactly what you have to do. I can see to the left pretty well. There's a car coming to the right. I cannot see. And my car stops for this car to the left. And then we are clear to the right so it can go. Oh, use accelerator. Uh, okay, I have to confirm. But there are no vehicles in either direction. So my car will take the turn and pretty good. So hmm, a little disappointing because I feel like at that point it should have been able to just go. It could see that there was nobody there. Here's my camera view, nobody there. So, yeah. All right, well, let's uh, go down the road and see how it does. All right, it seemed to be reacting to this blinking yellow. So, beta didn't seem to do very well with single blinking yellows, but 
did beautifully with that. It did hit the brakes a little bit, um, but wow, that was that was the best it's done that specific light ever for me. Um, ooh, moving over for that motorcycle, that was a little weird because <laughs> it didn't need to do that, but I guess that's okay. Uh, yeah, so single blinking yellow is the car beta 8.2 and, and before was very bad at. It would usually try to stop at them thinking it's a red light or something. Ooh, hit the brakes for that little roadkill. I'm pretty sure that's why it did that. Um, that was very good. Uh, full lights that are blinking yellow, I should say. The car has done very well within the past. Sometimes it still messes it up. Last night, just watch the video. It didn't do good at all, but with that specific uh, scenario. So a car turning in front of us, whoa, amazing, amazing. So if you have a Tesla, you know, in that scenario, the cars uh, with radar, and I think people with vision were complaining about it, uh, not me personally, when a car turns in front of you like that, the Tesla slams on the brakes unnecessarily. Uh, that was very good. It slowed just a little bit, like the perfect amount. And then the car, the, the other car continued and the Tesla was like, all right, we're good. So that was handled exactly perfectly. I loved it. And then one more thing I'll say, because people are going to ask, the, the in-cabin camera does work now. Um, I, don't, I don't know if there's IR. I'll, I'll put some words on the screen to tell you if there's IR um, lights in there, like in the Model S. But... Um, it doesn't seem to say anything to me ever. So I was trying to test it out last night um, and I'm looking at it now. So if I look down a little bit, yeah, it's not, I don't know. It's not saying anything. You do still have to keep your hands on the wheel. Stop sign here, blinking red. We get our first example of the uh, brake lights. So you can see those brake lights on that car. Our turn signal is on, theirs is not. There we go. Their turn signal is on and I don't see a turn signal displayed here at all. So. I don't know, I, I just heard, I didn't see any video footage of that working, I just saw people talking about it. So we stop at that stop sign, creeping, checking for visibility, and it's good to go. So, a little slow, but we go through. Another blinking yellow here. I'm waiting for the brake, wow. Yeah, it breaks a little bit and then continues through, so uh, I like that, that's, that's way, way improved. That, that light and the, the previous one, the car beta had never uh, really done well without me intervening before. All right, we're coming up to a three-way stop left turn here. You can see the railroad crossing that's in the public build as well. Uh, painted on the road was shown there. So turn signal is on. A little bit of a confusing one because there's two stop lines. And then we did get here first, so stopping. And then, is it gonna continue? Oh, yep, it's a little confused, and okay, so there it goes. A little bit wide on that turn. Uh, yeah, that so that double stop line always kind of trips it up a bit, but it did go through. Uh, it was our turn. I don't think that was a complete stop to zero, but nothing new for beta there to kind of <laughs> slowly roll through those stop signs a little bit. So we're getting some braking there that we don't need. Uh, I tried to kind of peek at the screen. I couldn't tell what would have caused that, but uh, the, the good thing is, is any, any braking I've experienced has been very has been very gentle. So there there haven't been I haven't had a single since I got this car. I haven't had a single hard brake. So really good with all the parked cars there. Uh, everything's displayed really nicely. I mean, I just I can't state enough how much nicer this all looks. I, I'm sure a big part of it is now the car models are back. Uh, oh, a blue, blue car. I also saw that as well. I think that's when it's in our intersection or something. So stopping there, checking for visibility. You need to actually move forward. And yeah, so very confident uh, move through that right turn there. Completely appropriate. There were no other vehicles. So um, yeah, this, this driving visual, visualization is so much better than what we had before. Uh, it's just, everything's represented better. It looks like the colors are the same. So red is, you know, the outside of the drivable space. And then yellow is direction, um, divider, and all of that. But but yeah, this, <laughs> this is so much better. I'm really glad to have the models back as well because sometimes, you know, with the boxes, I didn't know what it thought it was seeing. Now we can kind of critique it when it's seeing something wrong. So this person uh, put on their blinker. Let's see. I don't see, I don't see uh, anything blinking on there for their turn signal. I do see their brake lights, so that's very nice. 
Brake lights are gone, blinkers still on. Yeah, it's, it's not displaying blinkers. I just, you know, kind of saw somebody say that. So then they make their turn and the car continues. So very nice uh, braking. They, they braked a little abruptly there. It seemed like they, it was kind of a last minute decision or they weren't sure, sure where they were going, but the car handled it very well. So we're looking for any new signs as well. We have school speed limit zone. It should ignore that. I saw that uh, recently it was taking that into account. I don't see the conditional um, thing up there. Like, so it doesn't seem like in this area it's doing that, but I did see it somewhere else. And slowing for this, yeah, so it says stopping for traffic control, which is not correct. I'm just gonna report that. No one's behind me, so I'm just kind of letting it figure it out. And then it continues through. So I guess it kind of went, oh, okay, this is blinking, let's, let's keep going. Whoa, 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 what the heck? That guy, <laughs> that was uh, not very nice of him. He should have waited for us, but you could see that he uh, didn't want to do that. So the car did a weird thing. Please don't hit that roadkill. Okay, where it, you know, moved over when the lane opened up. Uh, it didn't hit the brake at all. I, I wasn't, I was of course watching him, so I don't know what the car did on the display, um, but came nowhere near hitting him. We didn't get any warnings or anything either, uh, but at the same time, we didn't really need to change what we were doing to you know continue so i would have liked to see the car slow down there but uh <laughs> i don't know that guy was just rude okay and then turning onto the highway here we should have okay <laughs> i was gonna say we should have our blinker on but there it goes displaying all those cars very nicely very good at that so yep that's the median color uh if again if the highway is no different i'll cut it here let's see we're at 14.2 miles so 14.2 miles so far with uh, one disengagement. I think that was it. I don't think I had any interventions. I count them when I'm editing, so I, I don't keep them in my head. Um, and yeah, so getting onto the highway, I'm kind of surprised the vision hasn't changed yet. Oh, is it gonna keep it? Wow, all right, let's see. So time to, mer yeah, okay. So it changed back to, this is the public build. So nothing different on beta uh, in regards to highways. So I'll skip this and see on the other side. There should be a lot more traffic. I know some people are probably like, what the heck? There's like no cars, but our destination should have a lot more traffic. All right, so any minute here, we should be changing back to beta view. Unfortunately, I'm almost there. I thought I had a lot more uh, off highway driving to do, but there will be some and the area should be busy. There are two things I, I did notice that now the beta differs from the public build on the highway which before it didn't. So on no radar cars, the minimum follow distance is three. Well, on the beta with no radar, the minimum follow distance is two, and that is carried onto the highway. So I can, I can do that. Um, I've rather enjoyed three though, so I, I think I'll leave it there, but I'll play around with it. And the other thing is the brake lights carry over to the highway. So of course you don't see a lot of brake lights on the highway, or at least you're not supposed to, but I've been seeing brake lights on the highway. So very good there. Uh, those are, are two differences that the highway has. All right, so coming to some slow traffic, the Tesla wants to get over because we do have a right turn coming up. And there's a small gap there, but I don't think anybody's going to let us in. So we'll have to wait. The guy uh, that's blocking us here also has his turn signal on. So, okay, there we go. So we finally got over. Green light here. It is now 45. We need to go again. Oh, are we going to make this? Wow, this is our turn. It's going to be tight. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Go, go, go. All right, I had to take over. <laughs> it did have the right turn signal on, but I need to get my mileage there, so we're at 46.5. Uh, so we'll count that as an intervention. Um, it did have the right turn signal on, it just, we were blocked by those cars. Uh, it, it could have been a little more aggressive, I suppose, but if I was driving, I, I probably would have sped up to get in front of them, I'm not sure. Uh, there, there really wasn't much room. It could have also uh, moved over sooner, but that was my fault because I had Navigate on autopilot turned off, so the car could not uh, you know, signal any sooner. So a little bit of a dodge there. Um, not necessary, but you know, nothing wrong with that because their car was sticking out a little bit. So we're seeing a lot of details in all these driveways here. We do have more cars. I will pass my destination and put it back in to let the car do something to turn around, whatever it needs to do to fix it. So let's change falling distance to two. It was on three, just to try it out. These uh, brake lights are, are actually pretty good. They're pretty accurate, um, not 
which I, I wouldn't expect them to be, but a lot more accurate than I would expect for, <laughs> you know, something going from a darker shade of, of red to a slightly brighter shade of red. Uh, it, it works very well. So I have not seen any turn signals yet. So let me know in the comments if other people have been seeing that in their videos. I, I haven't had time to do anything, <laughs> include watch anyone else's videos, which I, I like to do because I like to see what other people are seeing in their, you know, geographical areas. But um, yeah, if you're seeing that, let me know. So let me, let's cancel this. Let's pass where I'm going. So it says it's completing, now I figured out I canceled it. And then I will just put my destination back and see what it does here. Oh, we got a big roundabout. So that'll be, that'll be good. That'll be a great end to the video. Um, I would like to move over here, whatever. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. I'm not gonna worry about it. So it does wanna, wow, okay, very good actually. That was pretty aggressive. Um, it wanted to change into this lane and, and that was what I wanted. So this purple is the raised median in the middle. That was very good lane change, geez. So signaling um, unnecessarily, I don't even, you know what, I don't even remember what the signaling, I think you signal when you exit a roundabout, that's what everybody comments. In Michigan, nobody signals, they just go in the roundabout and then they go out of the roundabout. Whoa, that's aggressive, that's fast, I like it. Um, that was not at me, <laughs> that was somebody else who entered into the roundabout in front of somebody. And boom, so now we, oh, I like that, that signal was good, the lane change was not very nice, but... That was a great roundabout. All right, we'll call it there. That was great. Uh, I, two interventions, I, or two disengagements, I believe, and I think that was it for, you know, whatever miles it's on the screen. So come on, finish the lane change here. Uh, very good, loved it. Beta 9's better, it is. It's not done, but it's better. So mm -hmm. thank you for watching. Uh, leave questions, comments, whatever down below, and you will see me and Full Self Driving Beta 9 in the next video. So Autopilot and I are happily driving along 